What's up, Zedge Nation? It's me back again, and I'm doing the MMA preview. Um, and this preview is going to be on Strike Force. As we all know, uh, Misha Tate is going up against Ronda Rousey for the Bantamweight Women's title. Now, what does what impact does this have on uh, the women's, uh, on, on basically the actual pay per view, and also um, the actual night? And what's, what's going on with the cards? And who do I think is going to win? And who, who do you think is going to win mainly? Um, personally, from my perspective, I personally think that Ronda Rousey is going to win the night uh, on the night, guys. The reason being is because even though she was going to compare statistics, some of you may say that well, Misha Tate has got fourteen uh, as a fourteen pro MMA, pro MMA fights, whereas compared whereas compared to Ronda Rousey, she's only had four. Well, then you can also argue that in Ronda Rousey's case, she's had yeah, she may have had four pro MMA fights, and that's about it. But all of her four pro four MMA fights have all been wins for her on her side and also they haven't gone out of the first round and all of them's been by submission now that's telling me that this that this woman has worked tremendously hard she knows what she's doing in the game she knows what she's doing on the ground and we can tell just because all of her submissions have been by um ankle lock i think it was or uh, what was it i think it was um yeah no sorry armbar my bad uh armbar so all of her wins have been through armbar she knows how to lock on that armbar very very tight and get that job done. She knows how to position herself in the ground. It's pretty obvious just by looking at, at her win streak and that. Um, whereas look at Misha Tate. She's got 14 win, 14 pro MMA fights in her bank. But yet she's had 12 wins and 2 losses. Now this is this just proves to us that she can lose when put under pressure. Um, and also another big factor on it is, is that Misha Tate... If you look at when she last fought, she only fought she last fought in July 2011, whereas Ronda Rousey uh, fought in fought in November of 2011. Now this basically proves to me that um, that basically Misha Tate could have cage rust because that is a kind of, that is quite a big time span for her not to be fighting in the cage since July. Um, Whereas you look at me, whereas you look at Ronda Rousey, and she last fought in November, so that ain't too much of a big deal. But that being said, Misha Tate could that allow, uh, that break allowed Misha Tate to practically prepare for this fight against Ronda Rousey. She's had like God knows how many months um, practicing just to beat Ronda Rousey for this fight. Um, so therefore, Misha Tate could have the advantage on that, being able to have a bigger time span uh, for the fight to be able to prepare for, to be able to to prepare for the fight um, but yeah to be honest I just don't want Ronda Rousey to be like a Brock Lesnar of the strike force in the women's division because you look at Brock Lesnar um, you see that he was like Ronda Rousey he won like he won consecutively and basically he got to the point where he was the champion then 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 basically we found out that he couldn't even go two rounds fully because he used to waste out his gas. And we need to see if, me, if Ronda Rousey can go the whole distance, not just out of the first round. Um, because we need to see if that's possible and if she's actually got the stamina because that hasn't been tested yet in the actual cage. Um, whereas Misha Tate, she has that experience. So it's a 50-50 way up. But if I'm going to go with someone, I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey just practically because she's fresh. And you look at her record and the woman obviously knows what she's doing. And she will, and I've got no doubt about it that she's going to win. I seriously think that she's going to win um, against Misha Tate. But I don't know what you guys think. If you, whatever you think, just holler at me. You know, comment below. I seriously think it's going to be a tremendous fight on March the third, and I will be doing a review on it as always. Um, just, just quickly before I go, I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys because I'm now officially a YouTube partner. That just basically inspires me to do bring more videos for you, and um, hopefully keep them coming, guys. Because I know that a lot of people on here don't really um, do MMA uh, videos on here. And it's good to see that myself is getting recognised for for this. Um, but yeah, um, until next time guys, just make sure to keep in touch by subscribing to my channel. Above, liking me on Facebook. Um, uh, just type in Mr. DJ Zedge and you'll come up with the page. L follow me on Twitter, Mr. DJ Zedge. Write me on Skype if you want to, Zedge MMA. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll also be doing a preview and review of the Thiago Alves fight, which um, will be, I think, March 2nd, so stay tuned for that. But until next time, guys, peace.